Okay, so we're going to create um, an AVI or a movie um, file of our animation using a threaded bolt into uh, a threaded hole. So let's create the assembly. And I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put the uh, cube out first, the main part out first, and then I'm going to put the bolt out second. Mark. And then we are going to um, mate these together. And this is going to be a little bit different. This mating process is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to go mate. I'm going to immediately slide down to mechanical mates and type in that I want this to be a screw uh, type mate. I'm then going to go up to um, what I want to mate and I'm going to select a flat surface on bolt. Then I'm going to go in and select a flat surface on inside part that puts them in the right location right and I'm gonna say that I would like um, like 12 revolutions per inch um, and I'm going to single click and then I'm gonna check it out and make sure that it works and you'll see that I spin this around, it's going down in, right? And I'm just clicking and holding and I'm spinning the, the head around. Okay, if I go backwards, it comes back out. So now what I'm going to do is instead of finishing this mate, instead of, um, instead of green checking, I'm going to hit the red X and I'm going to exit out. Okay? Now I'm going to go into the motion study down here down at the bottom, click on motion study, and I'm going to go to this motor right here, motor. And for the component, the top blue component, I'm going to click on my um, the head of my bolt, and make sure that the direction is pointing in the way that you want it to screw it down in. So. I want it to go clockwise to screw it down in. Um, and I just you click on this button right here to change the direction of the arrow in which it's going to turn. And then for the part that it's going to screw into, we select this base. Okay, So the top one is your bolt. The middle one changes the direction. And the bottom one is the, uh, the base of it. Okay, that's all there is to it. I'm going to check mark and I'm gonna, I just clicked on this arrow right here to open up the uh, the feed is to so I can watch this thing uh, play. So now if I click play, we'll see that this thing goes down in and I can determine how long I want it to go by. grabbing the end point and dragging it a little farther. If I don't want it to loop, then I just click on this loop thing right here, just play back normal. I want to time this so that it ends right at the top of the peak. Okay, so I want to go a little bit farther. A little bit farther. Maybe half a turn more. There we go. So there is our piece. Let's uh, and we see it's unspinning, and it goes right back down and spins through. Okay, 
So now we can save this as an AVI. I'm going to call this Volt. Bolt spinning into cube, and it's going to be an AVI file. Save. And it's working, it's processed now. Okay, so let's go in and see if. Here's our bolt spinning into Q. Let's see if it works. And I don't know on this recording, I don't know if it's actually showing it or not. But it did show it. Okay. And so that is how you do your AVI file.